Hi guys and welcome to Fire TV Sticks. One of the questions that I get asked a lot about is increasing the storage on your Fire Stick. Now the answer to that isn't always straightforward as there are different things that we can do to increase the storage on our Fire Stick and sometimes additional steps are needed to get the most out of the storage once you have expanded it. So over the next few weeks, I'll be bringing you a series of videos that will talk you through some different methods of doing this and showing you some useful ways in which we can use our external storage. So this first video today is going to be talking about what hardware you will need to increase your storage and then how to use that storage to move files to and from your Fire Stick. I have both the second generation Fire Stick and the 4K Fire Stick and everything that I show you today has been tested using both. In this video I'll be using the second generation Fire Stick. So when you're ready, let's get started. Before we get started, if you follow the steps in this video and experience any issues, then please do stick around until the end where I will go over a few common issues and how to troubleshoot them. If you'd like to jump straight into troubleshooting, then you can skip to this point of the video. So today we're going to be adding external storage to your Fire Stick, but with this method you cannot use this as system storage. With extra storage space, you can download to it, move and transfer files to and from your Fire Stick and access files on your external storage through your Fire Stick. So let's say that you have a big video file on your computer, you can copy it to the storage device, plug it into your Fire Stick and then you can view it on the big screen. You can also use this method to transfer files from one Fire Stick to another. You will need to make sure that you have a file management app installed. In this video, I'm going to be using Xplore. If you've never used Xplore before and you want to find out how you can install it and discover the basic functions, then please do give one of my previous videos a watch that will help you out with this. You can find it in the link above me or in the description below this video. Now let's talk about hardware. The first thing that you will need if you want to expand your storage is an OTG adapter. There are several out there that you can buy and everything that I use in this video, I will put links to these products in the description below this video. Both do exactly the same thing. The OTG adapter is very small and compact and the OTG cable does give you a bit more flexibility. The next thing that you will need is the external storage. I've got three different types of storage to show you that work really well with the Fire Stick. First, I've got a SanDisk 64GB flash drive. I've also got a micro SD card reader with a 32GB SanDisk micro SD card inserted into it. And I've also got a 1TB external hard drive. Whatever you use is down to you, it really doesn't matter, it all just depends on what type you prefer or what you've got available. Just be aware that any external storage that you want to attach to your Fire Stick must be formatted to FAT32 first, and not doing so may result in your external storage not being recognised. If you do get any issues with the storage not being recognised, then please do check out the troubleshooting tips at the end of this video. Depending on if you have the OTG adapter or the cable and what external device you are using will depend on how you connect them up. So let's go over how each one connects up. So if you choose to go with a small flash drive like this, then you might want to choose to use it with an OTG adapter just because they are both very small and compact. So with your flash drive, you just plug it into the USB in in the OTG adapter then you can use the micro SD port to plug it into your Fire Stick and the OTG adapter also comes with a micro USB port so you can power it up. And the OTG adapter comes with a micro USB port so you can plug in the power that you usually would power up your Fire Stick with into this port in the adapter. If you choose to go with the micro SD card reader, you can either plug it into the OTG adapter in the same way that we plugged in the flash drive or you can plug it into your OTG cable. So if you choose to go with the OTG cable, just plug the micro USB on the OTG cable into your Fire Stick. 
Then once you've got that plugged in, you can plug your micro USD card reader into the USB in port. So with that plugged in, then you can plug the USB part of the cable into your power supply. So I can usually connect this to the side of my TV. So I can connect this USB port into the side of my TV because my TV does have a USB port that provides an output of 5 volts, which is needed to power the Fire Stick. If you usually power your Fire Stick by the mains, then you can purchase a USB extender that will allow you to continue to do so. As I've said before, I will put links to all of these products in the description below the video. Now let's move on to an external hard drive and see how that one connects up. So with your external hard drive, we're going to connect it up in exactly the same way using the OTG cable that we did when using the micro SD card reader. So you've got your OTG cable plugged into your Fire Stick. Then with the USB in port, you can plug in your external storage with the USB. So now you know how to connect all the equipment together, let's hook it all up to the TV and switch our Fire Stick on. When you hook it all up and plug your Fire Stick back into your TV, you may get a message that shows in the bottom right of the screen that tells you the attached storage has been recognised. Now this doesn't happen every time and don't worry if it doesn't pop up on your screen. Your storage may still be recognised when you go into your File Explorer app. As I've already mentioned, I'm going to be using Explore, and here is where we can see the external storage. So this method of increasing your storage really is just plug and play. All you need to do is make sure that your storage is formatted correctly, plug it in, and it's ready to use. As an example of how we can now use the extra storage, I've got a file that I've downloaded onto my Fire Stick that is taking up space, but I don't want to delete it. So using Explore, I'm going to find the file from my internal Fire Stick storage from the left-hand side of the screen. So I navigate to my internal storage, find my download folder, and this is the file that I want to move. Then on the right-hand side of the screen, I navigate to my external storage and click to select it to open it up. Then I'm going to create a new folder on my external storage. So using the center console, I'm going to click the new folder icon. I'm going to name this folder downloads. Once I've created this new folder on my external storage, I'm going to click to select it to open it up so that it's highlighted. And when I go to move my file, this will indicate where it's going to be moved to. So I'm going to go back over to the left hand side, long press and hold over my file that I want to move which will bring up the menu. Then I'm going to select the move option. So because I opened my download folder on the right hand side of the screen, it automatically knows that that's the location that I want to move it to. So just check that everything is correct on screen and you're moving it to the right location. If you're not, then just go back, navigate to the correct folder, then repeat the move process again. Once you're happy, click OK. Depending on the size of the file, it may take a little while to transfer, but once it does, you will now see that it's moved from your internal storage to your external storage. So you should now be able to plug in and use external storage with your Fire Stick. If, however, you are having issues, then let's go over some troubleshooting hints and tips. What can you do if your external storage is not showing up? Well, first of all, you can double check that everything is plugged in correctly. Now, some storage devices do come with their own power. If this is the case, then this will also need to be plugged in to give everything the extra power that's required to power up both the Fire Stick and your external storage device. Without the correct amount of power, this could be the reason that you're having issues with your external storage not showing up because it hasn't got enough power to it. This is especially true with larger storage devices, and you won't get the power that's needed just by powering up your Fire Stick alone. Again, you will need to make sure that your Fire Stick and your external device both have a power supply. You also need to check that your storage is formatted to FAT32. If not, then you will need to connect it to your computer or laptop to format it. If you don't know how to do that, then please watch this next short video on screen showing you how to do it. Just plug your storage into any USB port on your computer or laptop and follow the steps in this short video.
When formatting external storage, Windows Disk Management will not allow you to format anything that is above 32 gigabytes into a FAT32 format. So if this is the case, you would need to install a free piece of software to be able to do this. If you need some instructions on how to do this, then please watch this short video that is showing on screen next. If you are having any other issues that cannot be resolved by these troubleshooting tips, then please do drop me a comment below this video. It will be helpful if you could tell me what generation Fire Stick you're using, what OTG you are using, and what brand and size of external storage you are using, and if you are getting an error message, what that error message is. Thank you for watching, I hope that you found this video useful. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my latest releases.